Good evening and uh, welcome to the Montpelier Design Review Committee. Um, I forget the date today, though. It November is no 18th. November 18th. Uh, I will introduce myself uh, as Chair and Meredith. <laughs> Staff. And, and then whoever's online. To this is Martha, a member. And Rebecca, member. Awesome. Great. That's all of us. And I'll now hand it over to Meredith to review the uh, remote meeting procedures. Okay. So, Anthony, you haven't been through this. I'm going to be sharing my screen. Um, the stuff on the screen is mostly for um, somebody who might be watching the meeting over Orca Media because this is streamed. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but then there's some bits in my spiel to just pay attention to, but not a whole lot. Okay. All right. So for anyone viewing tonight's design review committee meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in the discussion via the Zoom platform through either video or telephone access options. Um, if you want to have the full video experience, you can type this link into your web browser. Um, alternatively, you can dial this telephone number on any phone, and when prompted, put in this meeting ID. Um, in either event, I will get an e uh, a notification that you want to get into the meeting, and I'll be able to let you in. Um, if anyone is trying to get into the meeting and having problems, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. Um, for everyone uh, attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, and But if you are attending via Zoom, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This helps reduce background noise. Um, the Zoom chat function should be used only for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Any, um, oh, I don't know. Uh, Anthony, were you anticipating a Jack Guthrie? I don't know. We're going to admit this person and see what happens. Um, uh, if you have any um, substantive comments or questions um, for anyone who's not actually an applicant and, and directly being asked questions, so substantive comments and questions, please raise your hand um, and wait till the chair calls on you to speak. Um, and when you, if you do get recognized the chair, by the chair, please make sure to state your full name um, and address for the record. Um, in the event the public is unable to access tonight's meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. All right. Um, do I have a motion to approve tonight's agenda? Um, this is Martha. I'll move to approve the agenda. And Rebecca will second. Fantastic. Agenda is approved. First item on the agenda today is 9 Langdon Street, applicant Anthony Joyce. Uh, Anthony, can you give us a little uh, description of your project, please? Sure. Yeah. So what you have there is like a contour cut uh, MDO sign. It's painted on half inch MDO plywood and sealed with ready patch, which is a weatherproofing sealant that I used on, use on sign projects in the past. Um, yeah, it's all hand painted with one shot lettering enamel. And it'll be hung on the existing bracket with fabricated steel brackets and D clips. Anthony, um, I can't remember where the existing bracket is. Can you show us on this picture? Yes, yeah, so it would be like sort of below the uh, light there, a little bit okay. below, maybe to the right of that window. I see it now. Yeah. Right right about here. Right, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, the sign will be below. It's set up so that the sign will be below that light right. on the corner of the building. Mm -hmm. And it's on screwed in. Actually, it looks like it's screwed into the window frame on this window that faces Langdon Street. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And Anthony, do you have, I mean, I realize this being a hand painted thing, it, uh, we don't have renderings, but I'm curious about any of the coloring that we might see on this sign. 
Yeah. So the background of the yeah. sign would necessarily it would be black and the yeah. lettering is going to be lettering as in the get up and vintage would be in that kind of wheat color there. Yep. And the the shade or 3D on the lettering is in a would be in gray. Uh-huh. And the border would be around the same color as the wheat. It's made to look like um a sign that was painted a hundred years ago. Like they would like the style that the client asked for was a, a mercantile style sign. Yep. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Agreed. I like it too. I do too. I assume. Oh, I'll... I see. Yep. Do anybody else have any other like questions or comments? Or no, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I don't get a vote, but I like the the shape. I like that it's not just a rectangle. Great. I'm glad you guys like it. That's awesome. I too am also excited to see some more hand painted signs getting exposure. So thank you. Thank you. Um all right. Uh like you've got the oh, yeah. right there all by itself. The recommendation the sign. Well, through. don't we have to we have to like Vote to approve. Uh, you got to go through the recommendations first. first. Yeah, go through the recommendations first and then vote. All right. Uh, so I have some recommendations here. We have the size, location, design, color, and texture, lighting, and material of all signs within the design review overlay district shall be compatible with the buildings and structures on site and surrounding properties. I would say this is acceptable. Uh, where appropriate, signing shall respect the the original placement and sign bands on historic structures, I would say acceptable. Uh, if a building has multiple tenants, there shall be consistency in placement and size among all signs. I would say this is acceptable. <clears throat> it is recommended that the sign placement be centered over building entries. Um, we're gonna say acceptable in use of existing bracket. Um, uh, sign installation shall minimize damage to character defining materials of the building again acceptable because of existing bracket uh, in masonry buildings fasteners shall be uh, in the mortar joints again acceptable because of use of existing bracket uh, sign, design, color, and typology uh, shall respect historic precedents uh, where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings. Definitely acceptable. Um, I think that's it. Right. Uh, do I hear a motion to, to vote uh, on this? project I have a motion to approve the project yep this is Martha <clears throat> and Rebecca seconds also approves <laughs> great and then I also approve so I <laughs> think we both motioned and approved in one <laughs> fell swoop we're very efficient <laughs> well there's, there's only three of you right. yeah it works <laughs> um, great well then I guess Meredith you're going to get this to Jack somehow? Uh, uh, to... Not oh, Jack. I actually... Do, Anthony, you to were the Anthony. only one talking, right? I haven't spoke. Oh, you, have, you haven't spoken. Well, no, I have spoke about the sign. Right, that's what I'm saying. Right. Tonight, I, I'm just... Because we have a Jack Guthrie on here who I still am not sure if they were part of this project or not. Right. Um, so... Uh, um, yeah, because you're not making any tweaks to it, we'll all just issue the permit tomorrow and they'll get a copy of the recommendation form. I'm not going to make them sign it. We stopped, if there weren't changes or tweaks, we stopped having them sign it um, during COVID and haven't gone okay. back because it just doesn't make sense yep. um, to make that process longer. 
Okay. If we don't have to. Um, so, yeah. So, Anthony, like I said before the meeting started, because they approved. Um, oh, no worries, Jack. Thank you. Um, so he's a UVM student interested in attending the meeting. Um, so, anyway. Sorry, Anthony. Um, I'll get this permit issued tomorrow. Do you want us to email you so that somebody can just come pick it up versus waiting for the mail? Um, yeah, you can email me. I'm currently not in Vermont right now. That's why I opted to do the Zoom. Okay. Um, if you could email me or I believe that uh, like the Get Up Vintage owners had filed or paid for the permit i don't know if it's a way there's a way we could if they could come pick it up if i could let them yeah like, oh they, like, yeah they them. can totally come pick it up they just their email addresses weren't on the application so I, i'll have to look it up okay well if you could email me and then i'll just forward it over to them or, yeah or... you can forward it over. anyone can come pick it up um okay. to so yeah if i'll if i don't have their email i'll just email you um i'll make sure to copy you no matter what just so you know it got issued um, awesome. And then, um, yeah, somebody can come pick it up and go on from there. Awesome. Great. Great. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your application. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Um, Meeting minutes. Yeah, minutes. Has everybody had an opportunity to review the minutes from November the 4th? Yeah, I have. This is Martha, and I make a motion to approve them the way that they're written. Do Rebecca seconds that motion? Great. Motion approved. I agree to accept them also. <laughs> um, do we have, we have just the 4th? Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. Uh, so next meeting is December 2nd, um, assuming that I get applications. Um, I'm mm -hmm. anticipating some, but we've, I mean, we haven't, we're not going to have a, we might not have a development review board meeting until January. I don't know. Um, so I will keep you posted. Okay. Um, and have... A lovely Thanksgiving, I guess. Well, we have to Thank vote. Thank you. To... I know. Yeah, you have to vote to adjourn. Yeah. That was, I don't think, I just wanted to throw that in there under other business. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> First, I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I'll second the motion. Great. Motion approved. <laughs>